Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here for show number 2455 here on Twitch. Going to be kicking things off with the Spelunky 2 daily as we have every day of fragments so far. Let's head on in and see where the game takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. Before we get started here, you can cobble to find people in chat and your wonderful support. Hey there, Taco Bento. What's up, Barlow, Crisco, Athini, Bossa Cudgeon. What's up, Cattacular? Samurai Hamster, Breadbox, Holy Daniel, Pterodactyl. It's good. Oma Thor, Wookie94, Wicked Warlock, Flacco. Hey there, Lorelli. Okar, NPC, Kezbardo, Delgo, and all the rest. And let's get caught up all these subs before the stream. My goodness. Lorelli, thanks for 21 months. Zap Slap with 21 2. Back to back 21 months subscription. Samurai Hamster 52. Thanks for 46 months. Wall Street Sloth 32, dude. And Rathy, thanks for a great eight. Heck yeah. All right, first, let's pick a character and then get some uh, frog in the hole going. Um, let's go with uh, who today? Let's do a pilot run. Nice try, Pingu. You're going in the hole. All right, Let's see what we got going on here. I see pepperonis down there. Is that accessible? No. That is, though. Might have to use that bat to get that. Three hundred pounds of rope to start this run. It's blessed. It's blessed. Hmm, that's pretty terrifying. Oh, snap. Am I dead? Not dead. Okay. Good. Hmm. Like, we're probably going to cook some turkeys on this daily, huh? There's the key. Let's just rope down here. Hmm. I mean, really, I'd like to get this. I'm going to bomb here. I don't feel safe at 1 HP. I wonder why. Okay, if I move this block inward here, should block the uh, thing from going in the store, indeed. Oh, let's bless this run here. Boom. Oh. 
Big Spinda, let's go. Yeah, it is a handy trick talus because often that battering ram spawns in a very disadvantageous position. Big time. Man, that turkey is in a bad spot, dude. Okay. There we go. Well, maybe not so bad. Sup, turkey? Alright, pet store right here. Uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm not convinced. was dumb. Uh. I'd have to use a bomb to get into Yang's is the problem, so I think what I'm gonna do is just cook the turkeys for HP. These guys both... That's weird he's not, uh, moving back and forth like the turkey normally does. Yeah, let's cook these turkeys. Hello. Okay, that's fair. I don't need to collect a ton of money here going Volcana, but I'd like more than 3k, that's for sure. Okay, box right there. Awesome. I'm gonna have him roll back and then stomp him. Well, maybe not like that. Boom, 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 boom. Go. Here we go. Get turkey, get turkey. Dude, how do we have 18 ropes already? Crazy. That is a wild amount of ropes to have. Hey, glad you could make it today in Alauda. Thanks for being here. Huh, more ropes. 21 ropes before leaving the dwelling. Holy guacamole. Well, money got sorted out there. Good. Let's go. Um, well, I already have all that stuff except for the cape. Greetings, turkey. Double turkey here. That's dope. Um, what if there is a shrine? You know, I'm gonna use a bomb right here because if there is a shrine, I definitely want to have pups in hand. This is our only real opportunity to get them. That's it. Do, 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 do. I also want to get out of here before the uh, magmar rolls into that shop. All right, feller, that was a move. Okay, there's the key. I'm gonna cook this turkey. Nice. Looking like no shrine here. Alright, good. Van's bottom left corner. Um, how am I gonna do this? I bet we're gonna have to use a bomb here to make this safe enough. Two bombs, even. Alright, he dead. Uh, I guess I could take the cape out of the store if I want to climb back up there. Oh, this is actually the way down. Okay. I see. Oh. 
problem we run into is now getting to the exit is pretty impossible without a bomb. That's okay. Not impossible, but very dangerous. Looking good. Man the man. Alright, instead of traversing uh, that, I'm going to climb back up, go around. I am still debating getting this uh, this cape. You know, let's go ahead and do it. I got... Well, okay, I'm waffling. Let's not. Took a look at that clock and decided against it. Good level one. We got Van Rescued, we got the pups, we got a turkey HP. Okay, we got a voice echoes level, which often indicates there's going to be a shrine. So let's get our bow right away and then find that. Bonk. All right, this right here is going to be an item. We know that because there's an arrow trap there. Yeah, we will not be getting that bomb back under ton. Not a chance. Do not enjoy having ton aggro. It's not a good time. Weird challenge, man. Seeing a shrine right now doesn't mean there isn't one. Oh, that's a lot of lava, dude. Luckily for us, it looks like not the way down. There's pepperonis. Okay. There's the shrine. Okay. Um, Puppers was below here. God, I can't really get back properly. Darn. Maybe I can do it from under here. Looks like it. Okay. My man, you ever helped before? You dare. Anything up here? No. No, we did not grab the item inside the uh, challenge room. Okay, where was this pepperonis at? Right there, man. Um, that is really tough. I don't think I'm gonna use two bombs here to release pups. As much as I'd love to get that on the shrine, it doesn't quite get us to Kapala, so. Um, well, if this turkey gets us to Kapala, then I'll consider it. Also, where the heck is the way down? Okay. All right. This is risky, but I think worth. No, I need that bomb.
All right, Kapala gets. Sets up Vampire Blood Farm, potentially. Where did I leave my bow at? Uh-oh. There it is. All right, exit's over here. Nice. I'm just going to take a quick look here if there's a way back up to the challenge area, because certainly if that's a bomb bag or bomb box, we want it. Answer to that is a big old noper. I'm out of here. Good level, good level. Uh, voice echoes should not affect the size of the uh, sub area, no. I mean, there may be more sub areas generated because of that, but it should not affect uh, what's in them. That's some lava. Let's let that drippy drap for a minute. Normally I'd throw a bomb at this lava structure, but uh, we don't exactly have the bombs to give up. Dude, Rathi, if I did miss you earlier, thank you so much for a great eight months. Much appreciation. Gonna wait till about 1.30 here and then we'll rush down, grab our clover and hopefully get some vampire farm going. Still very slowly moving there, probably one or two more drips on this pile. Appears to be done. Nice. Let's leave the bow here. Let's go. Nice. Bombs are very good here. Okay, Vampire down here is pretty good. Thank you, Bat, for the assist. Appreciate it. Looking up here. Uh, no second Vampire. Okay. I've been hunting this fiend for a long time. There's a Vampire. Uh, it's going to be tricky, isn't it? Let's start by killing off these helping hands. I have a dead body to work with. Uh, with only two vampires showing, it's like a lot tougher to do this. So having a, a body that's not going to move around is beneficial. Okay, there's another one there. Fair enough. No, don't do that. That is not what we want you to do. Follow me! Okay, we got there. Should have enough time to cap off here, just barely. These organs so good. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it. Uh, 
Uh, Racy, what's happening here is that vampires heal off of blood drops, and Vlad's cape produces double blood drops, and we have two vampires. So enough blood's being generated for us to gain HP, and for the vampires to heal themselves when they're damaged, because their, their bodies are directly on top of each other. So as the blood drops come out, they're going in, into each other. All right, great. Well, it's an intended mechanic, so it's not really abuse. Also, setting that up, well, once you have it going, looks very easy. Uh, when you actually try to do it yourself, you'll realize how hard it is to wrangle those, uh, those vampires together. That's often a point where the run goes sour. I'm gonna wait for this guy to get back over here. It's really the only place in the game that, uh, only place in the game that multiple vampires spawn, so they know. Nine, the difference between maybe like 15 health and 99 health and Spelunky is uh, nothing. May survive an extra juggle or something from like a, a whatever, but most things that will kill you at 15 health will also kill you at 99 health. Okay, um, well, that's 2-4, we got bow in hand, let's go. It does look nice on the hut, that's true. Feels good to be capped out. Making you say that in just about any game, max health feels nice. All right, so we're very low bomb right now. What's up, Percy? Spike ball going into a lava pool generally stops the spike ball from hitting the bottom of the lava pool so it won't drain it. But not always. If it's only a one tile of lava, then we'll break through. But when it's two tiles or more, um, it's not. The spike ball is not destroyed by lava, if that's what you're asking. Here we go. So far, so good. What? That's not good. That is not good. Okay, so... How do I fix this? Like this. Drop down. Okay. Dang it, man. This just got real weird.
Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Alright, I'm gonna have him slam down here. We're gonna start this over again. Straight down. Up against a wall. Straight down. Up against a wall. Up against this wall. He's gonna do the mini hop. Okay, we're good. Fixed it. That was very sketchy. One sec, hoodie's coming off. Hey, Schroeder, thanks for 47 months, man. One more for four years of support. Thanks a lot. Hey, Squigs01, thanks for three months, dude. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna hope Madam Tuss appears here on the first level and also hope that we get uh, some bombs from gambling. Okay, Madam Tuss did appear, that's nice. We've also cleared down to the exit. There's no bear trap or other shenanigan waiting for us. Is that a shrine over there? Looks... Oh, dude. I am so lucky not to be dead right now. It is not a shrine. That's a shrine, though. Hello. I'd like to gamble now. Ropes. Okay. Jetty, okay. I'm gonna stick with the um, the Vlad's cape here since we have spring and spike shoes. But cool. Yes, whipping the dice while it's midair guarantees a six or one. Uh, I'd recommend standing at the location I'm at and holding up while you throw to give yourself enough time on that one. Okay, uh, looking like we're not going to be able to do Onk Skip at this time, but not out of it yet. We still have Humphead to clone presence on. Okay, let's get this going. Yeah, it does make uh, getting the reward from Madam Tuss or entering the palace rather reliable uh, once you get that down to uh, an optimized speed for sure. 
still no guarantee, and one thing that can happen, that happens rarely, is you can win so much you don't win all the items, but even that, it gets you entrance to the palace. I think the big ticket to that technique is to be holding up while you uh, throw the dice. It gives you a little more time. There's a lot of ways to do it, but I find that one to be a nice compromise between uh, speed and reliability. Get chopped fish. What are you doing down here, turkey? Uh, honestly, Dr. Mouse, my Tiamat fight's not great. I've only beat her a couple times. But uh, if you have sticky bombs, you can throw one, and then she'll yell it off, and then you can stick four more on. The yell she has has a pretty uh, long cooldown. Also, if you have a gun of any kind, you can bomb out the bottom of, or the top of either of the platforms, and then uh, shoot. Sprongen, okay. Spike Shoes already got those too, man. Alright, see what we get here. Jetty again, and three bombs. You know this is like just enough bombs to maybe pull it off? We'll see, we'll see. You know, there's usually an item in here. Let's check this out. Okay, the treasure in there turned out to be an urn. Yeah, if we're going to do an on skip right now, it'd be the traditional method where we bomb out the floor without paste. Uh, we also don't have glasses, so very hard to determine. Okay, we have skeleton keys, so as long as that door is open, that does get us to an item room. Here is this. Uh, I'm just going to check real quick. Um, where's the item room at? Is it below this? Come on now. It is. Uh, can I get to this otherwise? Oh, God. Let's see if I can get up to this without a bomb. No, I can't. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go. It's going to leave the knife there for now. Getting down here a little bit later than I'd like, but not too late. Okay, we do have a side structure here. Interesting. Um, I think this is now possible. That's good. Very good, actually. Four bombs left? Okay. Mm, damn. Okay, I was going to grab under the wall. Forget that, though. Let's go here. One more here. I still gotta make it back to my knife. Uh, 25 seconds, we're good. Thank you, Side Structure, for existing on this run. 
me and my one bomb are out of here. Yo, Squigs, thanks for an awesome three months. Appreciate you keeping a dapper. And Melon the Dinosaur, thanks for a tier three 39 month subscription. Thank you. Uh, no way to collect it. No, Annihilate. So, the main way you get out of there without using bombs or a lot of bombs is if there was a secret door inside the bottom of the area, or you had just a door to enter, um, yeah, inside the, uh, inside the crust. Okay, I'm definitely gonna check the back area here for items and stuff, because we're only at four bombs. Yep, fair enough, Skeletonman. Right, no item there. Okay, no items. Uh, so, you know, I'd say the main detriment to Pitcher's Mitt uh, is that it's much harder to cook bombs when you have it because it changes the speed at which bombs are thrown. Though certainly not uh, impossible. Also, in Cosmic Ocean, items can loop around with Pitcher's Mitt, though I find it to be a beneficial item there. Pitcher's Mitt plus no pace means it's going to be really hard to cook bombs. Though, it's just another timing, so if you uh, take the time to learn it, it's not so bad. My non-pace Pitcher's Mitt's not so great. Well, I'm never upset if I get Pitcher's Mitt. It's, uh, it's fine. I think I want to put the Excalibur in with Waddler because... I may not have the bombs to do the sun challenge the way I want to. Let's just kill Yeti Queen first. As far as I know, you can leave as many items with Waddler as you want. Okay, where's the king at? Alright, we'll wait here. We'll be patient. Item down here? Come on now. No item. Oh. Very often a Yeti on the exit there should always be very cautious when leaving the Yeti cave. You do have uh, iframes, but if you check out for a moment, <laughs> there is problematic. Bonk. Let's go. Alright, what kind of neon babs we got here? Hmm, it's fine.
Nice. Cutting. Sweet. Uh, wow, it looks really bad, actually. Um... I think I need to use one of my four bombs here. I, I probably can get on top of that Olamite or maybe can jump into the lava, but I also see a lot of ways I die getting over there. Yo, I'm Key. Thanks for nine months and big congratulations on that 799 run last night, dude. That was sick. Glad I could be there for it. There's the urn room. All right, let's see what we got here. Cracked wood vortex is the keywords. See smiling vortex and plain vortex. Hey, millions of cats. Thanks for eleven months. One more for that year, dude. There's smiling vortex. There's cracked wooden vortex. I'm gonna hang out here for a second. Make sure there's no um, extra elevators. Looks good. Cracked wood vortex. We got it. Kyle92. Thanks for that prime sub, man. What's up, Percy? Yo. Big bada boom. Oh my god, that's a mech suit. Alright, I'm gonna wait for this mech suit to walk its little butt all the way over here, and then I'm gonna bop this guy in the head. That works too. Oh wait, man. Oh wait. Okay, that is certainly a thing that can happen. Um. Dun, 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 dun. stuff happening over here. Does this go down over here? It does? No, it is not. I mean, honestly, probably a pretty good spot to use a bomb, but I only got three. Man, what a perilous 6-3, man. Hey, Walter, guys, thanks so much for making it official with Prime, dude. Appreciate that a lot. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider it. Thanks for being here on this fine day, 21 of Fragmas, and this awesome daily.
I'll wait. Really easy way to lose the mount is by trying to rush through these two lasers. Don't do that. Got all the time in the world once you make it to the top. Let's go. All right, I see the waddler area. Good. That's an arrow trap. No, thank you. I do have 99 health. It does not mean I want to be poisoned. Alright, Sun Challenge is here, and I really don't want to use my two of my three bombs, so I'm going to go back for my Excalibur. That's the reason we put it here, and then I'll choppy-chop the top, uh, top side. Yeah, that diamond inside the Sunken Temple Olmec has always been there. Okay, let's go. Hope you're ready for some choppy chaps. Yeah, the bottom gets uh, tough here, uh, Voron. I've never done it from the bottom, but I think uh, there might be a higher chance of Witch Doctors cursing us if we do that. I like this corner up here. I believe you, but I'm going to go with the tried, tested, and true method. Okay, that's that. Fortunately, I have to use a bomb to free the bow now. That's tough. Make sure it does not go into it. Oh, no. This is fine. This is fine. That was spoopy, man. I can't see a thing. <laughs> I don't have glasses here either. Hey, dude. Does that mean there's a frog summoner here? Okay, good. I'm gonna do this because sometimes an item crate can spawn in here. It does not look like it did this time. Oh, hey, it did. Nice. 12 bombs. Three ropes, kind of like 12 bombs, except for not as cool. be a smart person and use a rope here so my fear is if there's a uh, fish in the water oh this isn't even the right way okay this is get me out of here a dapper box. Thanks for 26 months. Appreciate you. Thank you. Dude, glasses are actually really nice right now. We couldn't currently see inside the walls. We had no uh, vision items, so uh, that could be a big improvement. That could be bomb bag or something, even a bomb box inside a cosmic ocean. Nice. Thank you. 
Okay, hold on. I'll wait. I'll wait. Uh, Chronicles not really applicable on this run because we needed to clone the presence to have a chance to do onk skip technique. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh no, what am I doing? Here we go. Don't go that way, sir. So, not really that I don't do that technique anymore, and more so that it's not applicable to many runs. Okay, I'm gonna try to stomp one and whip one. That one's poison. Let's actually stomp on the chicken. Got him. Nice. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Two. Oh, dude, no. Really? I'm alive? Not quite. Not quite. Well, I've never had that happen before. We're still in it. Probably just jump down and bops him now. He's got two bombs on him. That was wild, man. Okay. Still in the game. We're going to work on recovering some health here, though with laws that should be pretty readily accessible. One. Not looking like a large level here. Okay, there's the exit, so that orb will be excellent last one.
Yeah, I don't even need a um, uh, mummy spit on this run to recover our health. We just have to play somewhat efficiently. There's a big benefit of Lod's Cape. As long as we're not poisoned here, we're in a good spot. Oh my god, that was a scorpion. Yeah, Clone Gun is an exclusive reward to the Tide Pool um, challenge area. I'm going to throw something at that. Well, there's one. Okay, no thank you. Okay, we found the exit. Good. Yep, scorpion poison's on touch immediately. It's actually the quickest source of poison in Spelunky. Okay. Uh, where are these orbs at? This level doesn't seem that big. Maybe it is. Ronde, Ande, thanks for 73 months, man. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Dude, where are these orbs at? I am confuzzled. There's one. There they are, both of them, in one convenient locations. Knew I had to be missing some portion of the level. This might be a bomb here. Where does this, uh, in correlation to the exit. No, I can get out of that. Actually, we can't get past the exit there, can we? So, let's bomb here. No, I don't want to use bombs, but, you know, sometimes you gotta. This will also give us a nice clean step up to get back down here. Let's clear out the exits. Yeah, this is good. Nice. Yeah, I think that was seven tiles tall. Uh, I don't like this is the last orb. One. This is a great last orb. Wish I could juice that crab, but not quite, not quite. Just gonna double check here real quick. Um Oh yeah, it's right there. Okay. Let's go. Hey, Shadowbane0911. Thanks for 10 months. Appreciate you keeping it damper. Thank you. Tidepool, love to see it, man. All right, before we go any further here, a uh, few levels into our Cosmic Ocean before we uh, head into the next set of levels. Going to take a very short break here. Stand up, stretch my legs, grab my uh, breakfast. Just a quick snack. We'll just be about five minutes here, and then we'll start our Cosmic Ocean run. Thanks for uh, being here for this awesome daily so far. Very tough daily to get to Cosmic Ocean on, so uh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, please do enjoy any kitties that may or may not appear during our break. We'll be back in just a minute for some more Spelunky 2 daily fun.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that brief intermission. Hope you had a good one. Let's head back into our Cosmic Ocean run here. Hey, on that note, JPJ, uh, I'm going to post the Discord link here. If you guys have any pets, especially pets that are interested in our pets during the break times, love to see pictures of that and the pet picture channel in the Discord. Hey, Camo13 Ammo, thanks for 47 months. Right as we were going on break there, let's head back into the Cosmic Ocean on 7 8, I believe. Seven, eight. All right, this might be a big level. We'll find out here shortly. At the exit? No. All right, here's one orb. I'm actually going to throw a rope right here because I think I want this my last orb. Not today, crab. Okay, machete is an interesting tool. Also, I want to get down here and chop this crab before uh, it causes a problem. Yeah, this level is wide. Dang it. Bomb box, awesome. Okay. Um, gonna throw a rope here, too. I got a feeling about this level, man. I think it's gonna be an absolute behemoth, and it certainly appears to be so. Okay, well. I'm gonna start clearing the inside of the level now. Is this the orb I left? Yes. Okay. Whoa, that was a drop. here. Okay, that was one. We know where two is. We need to find three now. Uh, here. Okay, not there either. So, the area we have not seen yet is... In here, big level, man, big level. It's just to the left of the exit is the main place we have not looked. There it is. At least my internal compass is working good. Okay, here's number three. Waiting. All right, Neon Babs. Scary place. You know, this would probably make a good last orb. Well, that one does too. Oh no, that lava is going to get blasted if I'm not very careful here. Okay, well, going to have to just deal with that. Okay, there's an elevator that pops down in this corner. I'm just gonna wait for it. Okay, we haven't seen over here at all yet. There it is. There's a big ass Neon Babylon. Okay, one more down. Uh, I think, actually, if I go underneath that, I die, so it's not. Might be able to squeeze under that, but maybe not. And I don't want to lose my run on that particularly. Let's wait for a good timing here. This looks great.
Uh, no, he would not got crushed on that ledge, but it would have made us drop off the ledge, I think. All right, here's one. Here's Jelly Gels. Okay, Jelly Gels is right on the side, which isn't too bad. Nice, there's all three orbs. Please hit, thank you. Okay, before I pop this last orb, I really should do some reconnaissance on the exit here. It's not too bad. Maybe worth using a bomb here. I'm going to. It is Neon Babylon after all. Okay, that's a good last orb. That one's arguably safer, but I know my limitations. Is that really the last one? I'm gonna say there's gotta be another one over here. It's not a big level, so there wasn't much opportunity left for orbs. Yeah, maybe climbing glove would have kept us in place on that pinchy ledge. I honestly don't know the answer to that when a ledge comes down, though I have been kicked off of ledges before by elevators, I think. Hard to say. That is an excellent last orb. Give me that crab juice. Shield's fun. Um, did we make it to that there? No. Did we make it to that over here? Is this completely sequestered? It is. Okay, well, that's a bomb. Bonk. Okay, that was two. So this is three. I don't exactly remember what our exit looks like, so let's figure out how we get back there. Okay, here it is. We run in here, drop down, go over. Good. The only thing the shield's not good at doing right now is getting us extra blood, which I want, so... I'm gonna use it a little bit, but not a lot. And hardly it's been five and a half years, strange not a stranger, and cake donut. Thanks for 71 months. Thank you. Yeah. I do like the shield, but we're not in a position to use it. High health would be a much better place to be using a shield. Oh, get out of there. Boy, I'd like to do that. Let's see if I can finagle this. That was close. <laughs> of course. That's better. Ah, it's just ropes. I would say with a good level of certainty that yes, the shield could block the crab claw. Good 
Good, I was hoping that wasn't going to blow that up. And it didn't. Well, we know where our last orb is, that's good. Ooh, that was scary, man. Yep, our last orb is now right by the exit in a very convenient location. Let's actually throw a... Well... It'll do. Ah, Neon Babylon. Luckily, appears to be a very small Neon Babylon. Ropes! I think a falling skull is what triggered that arrow trap initially. Frogs can also do it, or grubs, or a lot of other stuff. Okay, there's that. Is that jelly gels right there? It is. How does this look on this side? Much better. I'm out of here. Okay. I see one orb to start. I think an elevator comes down there. Squeesh. I run in here, pop that. Uh, item box for one bomb. I'm going to do it. all ropes in here, man. Alright, this level's not massive. That's good. Orb. This would make a very nice last orb. Problem is now, how do we get to our exit from here? Let's figure this out, because we need to. Okay, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna put a rope right here. That spark trap is a little concerning, but should be fine. I'm, in fact, gonna leave an olamite body here as well to mark where I'm gonna enter. I'm just gonna loop around and then go in where the olamite is. Go, he's not gonna swap. There it is. Ooh-hoo, that was tough. I was worried about that spark trap, and it got me. Nice run, nice run. That was a very challenging daily for resources acquired. I think smarter yet, I had a plan originally that I was going to uh, throw a rope out into the Cosmo area and then jump back in, and that way we could have timed the spark trap with the orb pop. Good game, well played. Alright, let's do it again. Uh, let's grab a new character here. Not a bad warm-up if I don't say so myself. Alright, so we got wins on Jay and Manfred here for Cosmic Ocean. Who's going to be next? I think Valerie is. Valerie's had five runs now that have gone above 760. No win yet, though. Time to put that penguin in the hole. Yo, Cake Donut, thanks for 71 months. Hobbles, thanks for 44. And Sea Going Manatee, thanks for 49. Nice one.
Alright, we can get to that. Yes, Val was the 798 run too, that's right. No, maybe it was Guy Spelunky on that one. Val had the infamous uh, octopus death on Tidepool where he got bumped into uh, the spikes with spike shoes. Yeah, it was Guy Spelunky on 798, that's right. Okay. Okay. Love to see it. What's down here? I'm gonna actually walk over here real quick because I wanted to make sure our damsel wasn't in there. Oh, hey, you did it, Tom. Nice work. I'll be back for the glasses, but shoes are primo. Okay, there's that. Certainly gonna use a rope to get halfway to Kapala here, no doubt. Okay, I can go up there for my glasses money. Is. Funk. Oh, that's cool, Tom. I didn't know that. Yeah, you don't, you don't actually need to win your run to get the Millionaire achievement, that's right. I believe I died on my Millionaire one, too. Not that I play for achievements, but the first run that I got a million dollars on, I also perished. Okay, I do need some money here to gamble with. Snoozy feller. Let's see how this goes. Double ones, no. Double sixes, oh no. Okay, double turkey time right here. Where the heck was Yang? Oh, he's behind the gambling shop. Hey, Oimi, mean, you're right. I did have the skeleton key for the shop area. Thanks for that reminder. Easy one to forget. that. Ooh, need it. Need it. Need it. Well, alrighty. We're gonna do some shenanigans now, because I need this. Where's Yang at? There he is. Okay. This is one of the only times I want to have Yang have money instead of uh, other resources. Give me some cashola, dude. That is indeed some cashola's. Thank you, man. Is this mole gonna get messed up in there? Come on now. Ugh. Man, that's tough. Um, you know what? I'm getting those bombs, son. All right, it's going to be rather rude to my man Yang, but I'm going to do it because that shop keeps going to mess us up otherwise. I'm going to tame this turkey. I'm going to put uh, this here, and then we're going to bomb through getting the health and an escape. Later, Tater.
Yo, Seagull Humanity, thanks for 49 months. One more for that half century in Bloodstir. Thanks for an amazing year. Just thank you all for sharing this time and place. Yeah, I think that's the first time I've ever aggroed him by throwing the dice up like that. It was very satisfying. Well, I was going to go jungle this run, but let's be very honest here. We got 3,500 bucks. We're not going to be able to afford anything in the black market. Yeah, it's definitely time to go Volcana. Our equipment's very good for Volcana too. We have um, Spike Shoe, Spring Shoe, and Glasses. Three very good items for Vlad's Cape and the Onk Skip. All right, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, dude, nice jump. All right, what's up? I need those rope a lot more than I need uh, that present. I'll probably be back for the present, though. Okay. Urgh. Yep, if you only steal from the shop, you use just one level without damaging them to reduce aggro. Killing is three levels. Cool. Uh, Van's going to give us a diamond here, which is our equipment. I'll wait. Oh, gee, my boy. out here. Let's grab this present. What's up? Yes, you can open Van's cell with the skeleton key. But there is a chance for treasure in the key room. And habit keeps me keeping that key. Uh, let me check over here real quick. Oh, no shrine. Royal jelly, not odd. Not a bad pickup at all there. Turkey time, turkey time. Let's go. Oh, snap, I can't afford that. Okay. I uh, get it. I'll be back. Hmm. This is a problem. Oh, God. Just don't don't fire again. Hey, 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 hey. Need that. Poochie. The rock dog is gonna be our savior here. Okay, Poochie goes right here. This bomb cook is one of the most difficult. Not quite, okay. Almost died. Hey. Not dead yet. Hello. That'll do. With spring shoes, we can make that jump with a rope too, but uh, at three ropes, that is definitely not something I want to do. All right, let's not mess up and Fail to get the box this time. Cool. More ropes. Excellent.
All right, no more items there. We saw everything, though. That's awesome. Later, Tater. Well, <laughs> that's a lot of lava. Let's go. A lot of lava is fine. We got time here. It's not going to mess with that. Um. Okay, these drippy drips aren't bad. They're already done, in fact. Take a peek. Ah, it's a lot of bugs. Is that lava up top moving at all? No, it's not. Okay, this turned out to be not so bad with how much lava was showing originally. It looked like it was going to be really nasty, but not too bad at all. Looks like a secret shop over here. No? Okay. looking. Alright, there's one vampire right here. Uh, one vampire right there, too. So, let's aggro this one. No, 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 you're supposed to fly, sir. That's fine. Should bop some back on that platform? Yeah, we're good. Oh, dude, there's hella vampires in here. Nice. So, what a pretty easy pull, man. The game set it up for me. Thank you, game. Delicious. Oh no. Always nice when the game gives you a freebie like that. we are again this time much better set up on resources i'd love to have paste here but i can do any variation of the onk skip now yeah i hear you percy but here's the thing what a weird level i'm just gonna get out of here man hey can you put that bow down hey i wanted that arrow bud Okay, well, he helped. He's helping. Yo, player no one, and thank you for 53 months, half century plus. Rockin'.
Can I get to this? Not really. I might try a bomb cook there. All right, this time let's try not to bungle phase two. That was really scary last time. Could get weird. Oh, perfectly fine. Okay, I want to have him drop straight down here if possible. That was very good. Look how tight that is. Beautiful. Having it be uh, directly on blocks like this guarantees that the UFOs are going to blow up. We're going to go directly underneath them, then right up against a wall. Pops him and tops him directly underneath him, right up against the wall. This was not the wall I wanted to be on, however. I'm gonna get out of here for a second. Just looking. Okay, here we go. That'll do. That was a short hop, a little babby. I was ready. This structure right here is what he gets stuck in to do that mini hop. I'm gonna be very careful not to get crushed on that. Not my best execution, but we fixed it. Bonk. Can also drag him over to the left wall and do a similar method, which is uh, probably safer. But not quite as stylish. That's fair. My legs! Alright, let's see if we're actually going to do any cookery here. That's where it is. I think I can do this. Let's find out. There is no way without pitchers meant that bomb is reaching. Got it. Let's go. Kalima. Yo, Dakowski, congrats on that new PB, and thank you so much for 50 months. That's huge. 719's a great run. That's one of my favorite things about Cosmic Ocean is you don't have to get 799 for it to feel like an amazing accomplishment because just getting there is <laughs> awesome in itself. Uh, what? Paste is big here. Since we have glasses, we can now do the two bomb, three rope on skip. Well, it'll actually be two bomb, four rope with this setup. Okay, I'm standing too far away from the laser beam when I'm throwing here is what's happening. Get out of here. What's next? Manic, okay. No, we're whipping the dice to force them to be a six or one. 
Although it is fun, that's not the only reason we're whipping. So I like to stand about a half tile to one tile away from the laser beam, hold up while throwing, and then whip. There's many techniques to do that, but that's mine. I've definitely swapped out for jetpack before Sherveris, but um, not usually. Uh, I find Vlad's Cave Spring Shoe to be just about as efficient as anything else. Okay, well, on this one, I'm going to try to do the clone gun skip because we have the correct equipment for it. Finally, it's been like 10 runs. Learned something cool in the Spelunky 2 Discord about helping hands today. Uh, helping hands have a trust level, and the higher their trust level, the longer you can hold on to them without them jumping out of your hands, um, as well as the more times you can whip them before they aggravate. It was neat. All right, forget that crab. Uh, is increased by how many levels they've survived with you. So if you keep them alive for multiple levels, uh, the their trust level gets higher, and the eggplant child's trust level is maximum to begin. Pretty cool. Okay, so... In order to do this properly, I need to clear these darn fish out. Helping Hand loves to go crazy on these fish and get hurt every time, man. Hold on to this, would you? No, not that, buddy. Okay, here's the thing, bud. I want you to hold on to that. Thanks. Our hope here is that we find an area we can trap the helping hand in. This might actually be it. Let's find out. Yes. Not here, but here. Get out of there, man. Okay, now come down here with me, bud. Oh, this water is going to mess everything up, isn't it? Let's try one more. That'll do. Okay. Now he can't get out, so he's going to hold on to that for us. I'm going to use another bomb right here just to expedite to the exit. Okay, guys, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit much, don't you think? Okay, here we go. Look at him swimming around in there. He's doing great. Alright, now we're looking for three pillars that don't have gold or gems. Hey, look at that. It's right here, man. Let me use three ropes here, because I know I'm going to have to use another one to get up. We're going to hold up while placing the bomb. It's the most important part of the technique. Must be holding up while the bomb is placed. He's still up there. Beautiful. Okay, where was the door at? There it is. Let's go! Alright, let's knight this guy. I dub thee Sir Help!
Our hope with the clone gun is to clone the reward bag from the sun challenge, getting 99 bombs and ropes. Though not a requirement, extra resource never hurt anybody. Get out of here, crab. I guess it's technically 96 bombs and ropes, so that almost always equals a 99.99. All right. I'm gonna take one more peekaroo under here. Yo, Gilrad, thank you. For 81 months. Glad you're enjoying the Spadunks, dude. 81 consecutive, too. And Hailstorm, thanks for 51. What's good? Okay, fair enough. Monty, my boy. All right, this gray block indicates waterlers here. This gray box not always at the water location, but if you do see a gray block near the ice caves, you can assume that the waterler entrance is at there. And there it is. I've never seen it not be there when there's a gray block. All right, it's going to be a two-step process. I'll wait. Doing it all for the ropes. Snakes. Now there's another mine around here. There it is. Looks good, looks good. Perfection. No item there. No item there. Gears858, thanks for five months. Thanks so much for keeping a dapper with Prime. Huge and sincere thank you everybody to subscribe and resubscribe with Prime. Big part of why we're full-time going on nine years now. Couldn't do it without you. All right, this looks like the way. This is not the way. All right, I'm gonna use a bomb then. Crazy section, man. Crazy. 
smiling jade eye. Smiling jade eye. Smiling Jade Bat. Onk. Smiling Jade Eye right there. Yikes, yeah, I'm gonna go all the way back around because there's a lot of elevator stuff happening here. a bomb. Uh, okay, I'm gonna bomb here. This is probably gonna blow up the mech suit, too. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're fine. Help! That was super scary. My mouse taking one of the four damage that it can. Legit was not expecting the mech suit to move there. Now I know. You pick the wrong statue, it simply does not hatch. Where's this elevator at? Okay. Wow! I was gonna say, bomb's probably not a terrible idea, but a bomb is indeed a terrible idea here, because there's lava. I will stay out. Don't worry, man. I don't care about that. I'm not here for the monies. I'm here for the Cosmic Ocean. You can't, however, sacrifice uh, statues on 6-2 for uh, favor. I'll wait one more. One more after this. Always wait for those spark traps to not be in the middle. It's not that you'll clip them. I just found it's more consistent for me to do it that way. All right. Thanks, Chilin. Okay, sacrificing sh them halves your favor. Thank you. So I guess if you had a very large amount of favor, you could still get jellies off of that, but otherwise, probably not a good idea. Okay, well, here's... A gun store. I was, gonna say, I was excited I saw the Sun Challenge right away. That was not the case, though. I'm gonna still hope for Sun Challenge here. Uh, gonna be bringing the bow up first. Because if there is no Sun Challenge here, then that's that. Never mind, it's literally right here. Beautiful. Come 
on, dude. Get out of here. There we go. Dr. Money PhD, thank you so much for 19 months, partner. Appreciate that a lot. Well, the location of the sun challenge is very good for us this time around. Having Waddler and the sun challenge right next to each other is very nice. Otherwise, you often run into time trouble on this level. Yes, the sun arrow can be used more than once, but you generally don't want to fire it, because every time you fire it, there's a chance you lose it. And if you lose it, that's it. Uh, this is a secret area. Let's check it out. Why not, you betcha? Ah. Cool. Let's go. Oops, I'll wait. I missed my pickup. Did I just see a store above? Hot dog, I did. Didn't already have sprong shoes. That'd be like a game changer. Jesus. Be really careful here. Oh, I can check this out. Hey, it's in here. Another helper. No, thank you. It's fine. So the egg sacs stun the player and can knock stuff out of your hands, which is not great. So you're really careful around those. Bonk. It's topper time here. All right, we're going into the Hundun fight. We're going to try to climb as quickly as possible here. Okay, we gave us uh, verticality right away. Really appreciate that game. You get an ultra long uh, horizontal hallway and get terrifying real fast. And with 98 bombs, I'm not going to be doing any stomping on this one. All bombs. Let's go in here. Double arrow trap. Okay. Is that triple arrow trap? Did this one even go off? Okay, it did. No regrets being extra cautious on that one. Okay, no arrow traps or other things. I'm going to try to do a bomb technique to start here. Nice. Got his ass. Bum, 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 bum.
All right, Valerie's freaking set up right now, man. 92 bombs, 97 ropes, and in the cosmic ocean. I forget we have Ankh active here, too. Um. Okay, I'll leave that as the last orb. For a rope here as our marker. Any level where it's beneficial, I'm going to use a rope as a marker because... Oh, that's going to be falling forever. Or not. That was falling forever. That uh, side was completely cursed. Okay, that was one. Where's two now? There's two. Okay, that was weird. Hmm. Bonk, bonk. All right, we're going to use the double dead guy as our marker for where the exit is. Something on the exit there looks like skeleton, maybe? A rock, okay. This will make a very good last orb. Just gonna leave that there. Uh, hot wings, as far as I've seen, which my experience with that is limited, if you do have iframes, it will protect the jetpack from explosion. But, uh, not 100% on that. That'll make a good last orb. That will make a better last orb. Okay, there's one. It's two. So how are we going to do this now? That's it. Die, crab! Should make a pretty good last orb. That's gonna get hit. Get your head low, man. All right, top shelf, last orb. Hmm, that'll work. All right, now it's gotta locate our exit here. I want to fix this. Is he looping, kind of? Yeah. All right, it's not too bad. Easy enough to get there. Last drop before the end. Do I currently have pitcher's mitt? I don't. So, a little overshot there. All right, I was going to use extra bomb right now. Certainly don't want to, but I also do not want to be cursed. Uh, giving a moment here to look for a spittle. No spittle. I saw some spittle now. Yep, right there. 
Also, because of the way the spittle is falling here, it makes me think that there may very well be a very large level here, like 7 by 7 <sighs> Whatever, Summoner. Whatever. Yeah, this is 7 deep. We do have one orb right by the exit, which I'm going to take the moment here to mark with a rope. Right there. That's the exit orb. Okay, we're seven deep, but only three wide. So this is much less terrifying than I just anticipated. Not too bad, not too bad. And while we have 99 bombs, you better frickin' believe I'm gonna be using some bombs here. Okay, there's one. Whatever. Curse cat. Okay, get squished. Oh man, that was brutal. I should have known better. Now well, it's a challenge run now. Goffles B, thanks for 64 months, man. Appreciate you. Alright, that's that one. That's gonna be spinning forever now, I think. Oh, it hit something? Good. There's that one. Great. Uh-oh. Stand up, Val. <laughs> nice. Okay, there's a cursed cat floating through the level. That's really nasty. Yeah, our cape got crushed there for sure. All right. This is actually, I mean, not ideal, of course, but uh, good because I want practice without equipment inside of Cosmic Ocean. Changes the game a lot. The only way your cape doesn't get crushed is if you get pinched from the side, and that was definitely a direct pinch. Here's one. There's our exits. It's two. Hmm. Where's this last orb going to be? Gotta be bottom right. No? Uh oh. Ooh. I see it up here. Yeah. Okay. Good old one health and a dream. Dead. GG. Nice attempt. A little unfortunate on the swamp there, but it was totally my fault. I rushed the. Uh, I rushed that. I should have just thrown a bomb. was fun all right guys i'm gonna take a short break here and then we'll do it up again with valerie give me just a second I'm just gonna stand up stretch real fast uh use the restroom grab some water and then we'll uh head on in there
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that momentary intermission. Let's get this frog in the hole and get our run started. Oh, penguin in the hole even. No frog in this game. Let's go. Hey, Gothelsby, if I did miss you, thanks for 64 months and Cosmic Distortion. Thanks for those bits. Appreciate it. That's a rope. Huh. I guess it makes more sense to drop down this way. What hit me there? Oh, a snake spawned in the urn again. Okay. Fair play, Spelunky. What's going on here? That is a lot of bomb, my dude. Alright, is there a way I can do this to get back up here? I believe if I use a bomb here, I can make it back, right? Uh, yes. With seeing 24 bombs there, certainly bombs are a better resource to use than ropes. Spicy this one up. All right, cool apparel shop, dude. Man, he's helping. All right, that's a turkey. I wonder where Yang is. Let's find out. There he is. Is he really not going to come down here? Um, I don't believe it. There we go. Let's go.
Okay. Is this a outpost? Outpost indeed. Alright, is this the outpost I like? It is. So what we can do here um, is we can aggro them and then they climb up the ladder, but they shoot it at the wrong time, so... Or they do that, that's fine too. Um, what? Okay. He did not behave in the way I thought he would. Yes, Roldavon. So you create a value called uh, sin points. So the more you anger or damage shopkeeps, the more sin points you accumulate. And then you can get forgiven by clearing levels without damaging or killing shopkeeps. Very easy to get forgiven if you just steal. You just need one level without damaging them. Very tough if you... Uh, you end up killing them. So you need three levels, and there's often an outpost, which makes it almost impossible not to kill. Also, most hazards, uh, except for spikes and lava, will not count against you. Okay, that's a start. dwelling here, did I? Nah. Oh no. Monty, my boy, I'll be back. Right, there's that. Hey, Demon Chrono, thanks for 21 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Look at my man bullet surfing. He tried. He tried. Okay, well, I definitely want in there. The entrance is just down left from this. I see it right next to the shrine. 12 bombs will be excellent. I gotta say, power pack sounds good, man. How much do I need for this? How much more? 100 more for power pack. I can do that. There it is. Power pack and shotgun go together like bread and butter. Fair. At least we didn't get bopped into a one square tile. 
actually quite lucky. Ah, I see this connected over too. Interesting. What's going on down here? Nothing good is the answer to that. I got faith he's going to eventually pop over this thing. I don't know, though. Let's try. Let's get out of his range real quick. Then we'll try re-initiating. Turkey time. Ah, I'll just bomb through on the other side. I wonder if he's gonna... Okay, well, I'll do this. Okay, that's a jetpack that I'd like to get, so... My man. How are we going to alleviate the store of this jetpack without having the shopkeep shoot it? I'm going to start by doing this. Oh, he's in there now. Cool. That works. Okay, glass is going to help a lot. Swap for Jetty now. We saw there's another outpost. There it is. There they are. Oh, okay. One more. Look at me. That's me on the wanted poster. I'm famous.
Not much of a choice here, Bonaparte, and yes, we are. down here quick a couple questions to answer here good there's no way up on this one so first step is we're gonna bomb this tree right now okay. we're gonna go up here so they come up too Bombs live, that's awesome. Anybody else over here? One guy. Go. Probably at least one shopkeep on the bottom level, too. We got a decent amount of bombs here. Yeah, there he is. That should be all of the shopkeeps. Yes. So I'd like to rescue the sister here. Where'd these guys go? Hmm. So there's a lot of action down here. Yeah. Also, if sister's not on that side, that means sister's over here. Oh, crazy. Can we get in the black market from here? This is a really weird sub area. I like it. Okay, we cannot get in the black market from there, but it's still cool. Okay. I got two minutes, man. I'm going to do this. How's this going to work? Well, actually, as cool as this is here, there's really not too much to sacrifice, and getting to that shrine's going to cost us at least four bombs. I'm going to hold out. All right, I'm going to go exit through the black market side. That's usually not a factor in the decision-making, no, Torpedo. Okay, great. Bonk. Let's go! You're right, though, that is an advantage, especially for the paste on skip. Though, um, yeah, usually not it's something you think about. Because if you go, if you go jungle, you're really getting enough bombs to do the traditional onk skip almost always. So having the Ujat Eye while it's nice isn't like isn't game breaking. Oh snap! Not dead. Uh, I'm dead. I thought that was only one shopkeep. I don't know why, but that was what my brain told me. All right, let's spicy it up again here. Oh, hell yeah. One, one turkey. This runs blessed. All 
Oh, I'm sorry, Monty. Okay, what's in here? Oh yeah, no angry shopkeeps yet. But soon. Right, where's this key at? There it is. Ooh, on the other side of the drop-down. Interesting. That is more sequestered than usual. Ah, I could have gone back around, okay. Cool. Down to one rope already. That's kind of sketchy. Um, I'm gonna rob here. Sorry, Yang. Need those ropes, son. No ropes back here. What did that hit? I never originally. There is tinfoil and a bonus shop later in the game. Oh, he did. The triple turkey level. That's cool, man. I need this mole to pop out. Let's go. Let's go, Mr. Mole. Come on. Let's go. All right, I'll use a bomb for ropes here for sure. Dang it. This looks really dangerous.
Oh, there's a bear trap right there. Oh. Okay, got him. That was pretty scary. All right, this is our black market level. There's also a Kali shrine here. So if we could get our juicy cup now, that'd be nice. Since we know there's going to be mad ropes in the jungle black market, it's going to go down here first. Okay, there's sister too. Nice. Do have paste, huh? Okay. Okay, we got blippy blaps. We're at. Huh. Let's worry about that aside. Maybe we can get information on where the black market door is from here. We can. It is to the right. Alrighty, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're gonna bomb here first. Okay, I don't currently have spike shoes, but if they come up here with enough speed, we should be fine. So you can see, oh dude, am I dead? Heck. I am big time dead. I misunderestimated the shopkeeps again. Hey, Golothas, thanks for 75 months. Appreciate that three quarters year. Let's give that one more go with Valerie. The method's solid, though, if you're on top of the stand for the ladder. They will continue to climb up the ladder until there's only the ones on the bottom shelf left. up, dude? Perf. I hear you, man. I hear you. Ooh, that's gonna get Monty. That's too bad. Use another one? Dang, we bombing now. Probably not the best idea to discharge the shotgun on top of a bomb, but I did. Hey, Bazooka Jim, thanks for 32 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper, partner. We can't get back up there. Okay, we're good. What? That was a wild knockback. Somehow the knockback from the lizard and the knockback from the shotgun combined there. Pretty cool. 
All right, I want that 12 bomb bag, but to get it is very complicated. Okay, so... How do I do it? Got a plans. Not a good plans, but it's my plans. Hey, Dale, congratulations on making it to the cosmic ocean, dude. Big accomplishments. Should do it. Okay. What a heist! Oh, my gun's gone now. Hmm. Dude, don't be doing that inside of Yang's Turkey Town, man. Have some respect. He's helping. It's a jetty down there, man. It's been a jetty kind of day. Got that same problem as last time that we need to alleviate the shopkeep of his station without having him blow up the jetpack, which is very tough to do. Let's try a very special bomb cook here. It worked. Do it again. A very jetty day. No shrine. Air trap. Not in a convenient location either. Interesting. Nice life, I think I'll take it. Alright, no shrine here. Let's go. Oh, snap. Not dead. I need to stop messing around with these outposts like that. There are much safer ways to go about this that I am not using. Okay, looks like we can easily get Juicy Cup here. Oh my god. Right, they don't do that. Big money, Kali Stacks. Dang it, Monty. 
I'll do it right. All right, let's clear down the exit now, then we'll come back for the challenge. Exit's clear. Sister's right there, seen. Okay. Yeah, bear traps falling from one tile or more will rearm them, which is dangerous, but also very effective. Good way to take out end of level shopkeeps. Bonk. I don't have a way to tell if the black market's here yet. Oh, there it is. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna take this bear trap that was up here and do that exact thing we just talked about. I'm just gonna put a bomb right here. Oh, it got reactivated by something. Okay. Okay, this time I have spike shoes, so our ladder strat should be a lot more effective. Wow, it's like an immediate, just straight entrance. It's so cool. Uh, well, you know, that happened. Hey, the Zephy. Thanks for that Prime sub, man. Much appreciation. the structure being destroyed somehow changed the way the shopkeeps are filtering? Yeah, okay. They're all up here. Okay. Still two on the bottom level. We got this, though. Is that him? Must be. 
Thank you for that clover reminder. Spicy runs sure have a different feel, don't they? We're gonna come back for the bow after we clear here. Thank you, iframes. put the bow down over here? Maybe. No, it's on top of the ladder over here. Um, let's check this out real fast. 23 bombs is fine. I'd like more, though. Still over there. Um, is that sister right there? It looks like it. Yes. Oh, I do not have paste, by the way. I repeat, I do not have paste. Dang it. Okay, let's try this one more time. Four forty five. Yeah. Later, Tater. Incessant buzzing. That's not sister. Good. Set, turkey. Oh, that's pretty spicy, dude. All right, we also got Queen Bee over here. That's pretty terrifying. What's down here? Secret shop? Looks like it. Teleporter's fun, but very unnecessary on this build. Okay, well... I think smart me is going to go this way. Goodbye. Yo, Sticks121, thank you so much for 45 months. Three more for four years. You rock.
I'm gonna use the four bombs here. Why not? Why not? It's amazing how much harder the run being spicy makes it in Spelunky. Crazy. Yes, we have two Cosmic Ocean clears currently, Trustful Muffin, one with Jetpack, one with Vlods. Now we got plenty of money to gamble at Tusks here. Get out of here, you stinky skeleton. Juice this feller. Uh, no plans for that, no mech tech. While I can't rule it out completely, my stream uh, primarily focuses on single-player content. Won't rule out the idea completely, but uh, the days of me doing collab streams is long done. I do think the multiplayer for uh, Spelunky looks very good, and if I was to do it, it would be uh, probably when the multiplayer is a little better fleshed out. Okay, dude. Um, I think I'm gonna go for health here. With the clone. Yeah. Let's... Oh, hey, this isn't even the clone level. Never mind. Claw definitely can destroy Kali's altar, yeah. Kali's altar is the same as any other crust block. I can gamble in here still, but this makes me nervous. item room here. Oh yeah, all right, I got one of these guys. My bad, I forgot. Um, I mean, was there a bear trap around here somewhere? I should probably just leave. I think I will. Snap. Dropping from a ledge is not the same as dropping like that. Not even close. I mean, my man's down there.
place. Alright, I still got some outs here to kill off the shopkeep, though none of them are very safe. Don't know which side he's on either. Let's find out. Okay, there he is. What's up, Pump Ed? He broke my present. Fair. Well, if he broke my present, I'm just gonna get out of here with the sword. Where was that damsel? There it was. Man, Lowendorf, thanks for that great 28. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thank you. All right, here's the entrance to the uh, long skip right away. I personally think there's a couple undiscovered things with the clone gun still. But we'll find out eventually. Best use for clone gun is clearly getting that 99 or 96 bombs and ropes inside the challenge area. Oh no, I'm dead. Yikes. Um, do you still have one way I can do this? We'll give it a try. I just approached that like there wasn't shopkeeper aggro, which happens when you go from doing not spicy runs to spicy runs. No bigs. Over here. Ooh, it's promising. Dead end, okay. Ah yes, clone gun extra useful inside a co-op, that's true. We're gonna go for the four bomb skip here, though I don't think I'm gonna get it. We might. Uh, let's do one right here, too. It makes it a lot safer. Okay. I did five bombs there? That's not good. It worked! Now can I jump off and get back? Um, oh, in time here. I was on the second rope. Okay, well, half success there. We got the technique done, but we did not get out. Next time on, if we try that technique, I'm going to put two more ropes on the right-hand side to jump to, because jumping, placing a rope, and then falling back to grab onto a stub is... A tight maneuver, to say the least. All 
Alright, let's go for a NECA. Oh, hey, thanks for letting me know my mouse's low battery computer. Plug that in after. Yeah, I don't usually do that uh, that technique for the on skip because it's uh, very close to pixel perfect and uh, almost a bit unreliable because of that. Hey, pace, nice. That's something we did not have last run. Links. Yeah, that set him off. That's fair. That's fair. Here's the key, here's the dwell. Uh, unless I cook a bomb, it's gonna be two bombs. Rather just do two bombs now than try to get one on the ceiling. I guess it was either bomb or rope or two bombs since we have paste. Two bombs it is. Oh, he may. Okay, that is a really peculiar way to the exit, if I don't say so myself. Okay, it does connect over here. I was thinking that drop down on the right-hand side is usually an area that does not connect to the main area. All good. Little ropes. Oh, that was a tough one. Those arrow traps that are on the pure horizontal are the toughest. Hover pack in the ground, okay. Already have pace. There is Kalima right here. Kalima. Definitely want to try to get Juicy Cup. Okay, no bombs in that store, so I can rob this from the back. Maybe not. You know what? Yeah, let's just go for it. Okay, do 
I have shoes on? Not yet. There. Should be one more body to get Juicy Cup. <laughs> Look at that. A wealth of corpses. Ow. That's my face. Yep, I was right. One more live body. Alright, this drop down is tricky, because if I drop right here, uh, this guy is going to... Okay, I did that, I did that. Greetings, Mr. Spudibins. That well, seems clear enough. Got 149, this is only 2 1. A man's ready to help, I like that. Dude, this is excessive. Alright, it's gonna. That is not the bomb I was trying to place, but it is the bomb I did place. I got one minute here, so are we really going to get all these bodies up there? Probably not. Um, yeah. All right. Wasn't quite worth it, but it's okay. Go big or go home, Kalibma. Thank you for that, Fatal Hobo. two health, so let's try to reacquire some blood here. Bo's going to be over here. Bo is guaranteed to be on the bottom half of the moon challenge. So using that information, we can find the bow readily with the Matic. Though if you're trying to search the entire thing, it's not going to work out. Hey, iProto, thanks for 14 months. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you. Okay, let's, let's babby sit this bow real quick. It's up there. Okay. Okay, I can climb back up here. That's important. That's a yikes. Uh, yes, I'd like to rescue Percy. No, I would not like to die for it. Sorry, bud. Yeah, Maddox are 30 to 40 uses each. Is it going to be beneficial for us to go through this way? Okay, he's already dead, so no, it's not. Good look in there. Let's get down to the bottom, rescue the sister, and get out of here.
Aha. Sister two. Key room. No idea on that one, two point Tom. My assumption is that if you end the run with zero gold, it should do it. If you picked up any gold and then purchased an item, though, that does count against you. I know that. I want him to go over here then. Hmm. How did other guy get through there, but he didn't? All right, dude. Well, oh. all right, they're all dead. Black market's here. Here's third sister. Nice. Huh? Ah. Okay, there's Kali Ma below. Um. Dead Witch Doctor is still worth two points, man. Live Witch Doctor is worth four. That's not it. Okay. There it is. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm going to try this exact same method I've died twice doing now because I know it's a good method. Just got to make it work. Spike shoes helps a lot here. There's probably going to be a bunch of fellers over here now. Uh, just one? Okay. Two. Why is he going up there, dude? Come on. I'm down here. There you go. Trickle on down, man. All right. Three dead guys right there. Just him left. All right. There's two shopkeeps left, saw them both. Okay, got him. It worked! Now you're power packing. Mm -hmm. 
Better clean this up for the next guy, though. Wouldn't want to be discourteous now, would we? very satisfying noise. shopkeep here there is we're just going to clear out the normal way here i'm going to grab a shotgun and bring our bow down first though got 45 seconds is plenty this goes here Interesting that the blocks still absorb bullets while that was dissipating. Never seen that quite that way before. You'll get caught up after this level here. Probably just being a couple minutes behind on your support here. And we're off. I proto, thanks for 14 months. Ulfi01 dropping that 32. Merry Fragments to you. Eros, thanks for 48 biggins, four years in that tier two sub. Extremely generous. And Java C Slip, thanks for 73, six years and climbing. I think power pack bombing here actually aggro's waddler, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not, maybe after the uh, Olmec bomb out it does. Let's do it safe way anyways. I don't know, man. This is looking like a good Olmec in the whole opportunity. Oh, snap. I'll be over here then. We'll need to use a rope anyways, so now it's a good place to Not quite, okay. Is fair. Whoa, dude. so much scarab though I'm 
my man. Okay, Bo made it in, good. So let's just take a look here real quick. I saw an item box, yeah. There, right there, I can make this jump. Let's take this run to Duot, shall we? We do got a power pack after all. Z Emperor, thanks for 28 biggins once again in fancy pants. Thanks for four years. Appreciate that 48 months. You're all too damn kind. Oh, good. Okay, there's a ghost urn right there, too, which is really bad. So I'm going to bomb my way out. The ghost urn being in that location is just... not good for our chances of getting through this level successfully. Hey, Mr. Leprechaun. Ever been whippy wappy? Now you have. Alright, where's, where's Mr. Nubis? Uh, what? Ah, I see. Can I do this without aggroing the shopkeeps? Yes, I can. Wow. Well, here's this. Oh, good. Well, I really shouldn't have done that then. I was going to go in. I should have used the scepter here to kill those guys off. Hey, here we are, the city of gold. It's beautiful. Let's blow it up. Say Scepter's slightly safer in Splunky 2, but it's not safe. Not at all. Oh, snap! I got bamboozled there. I did that to myself. I even kind of saw that coming, but I didn't move. rest of my urns. Ooh, double urn right here. That's good. Dude, triple mummy here? That's wild. What an entrance. Oh, he's not dead yet? Okay. Um, that'll do it. 
That's a crazy entrance, dude. Hell yeah, give me my power pack back. How do I get out of this? Nice. Drop my shield, man. Um, Oh my god, I'm in a mech suit with this shield. This is awesome. That's fair. Okay, our safety drop-down platform is now gone. So... This is tough, man. Where would it be? We can see where the platform was, right? Um, by those blocks. So we wanted to hang right here. Not even close. Not dead, though. My shield gun. Dang it. No, it's right there. Okay, stand up. GG. That was uh, fast and very fun. Fun run indeed. up here. Bonk. What kind of store is this? That is a store indeed. 
Let's check back here, make sure we're not missing our dwelling, which is a distinct possibility with the way this looks. Okay, it's not there, it's not there, so we're not missing the dwelling. Power pack run, don't mind if I do. Okay, this just got uh, quite a bit more complicated. That's okay. Ah, dang it. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna not use another rope here. It's gonna be very dangerous. Oh god, I did not mean to drop that, sir. I won't use a rope, you can't make me. Secret area. Where is the dwelling? There it is. I think I forced myself to use a rope here anyways. That's okay. Uh, does Cape change anything about this assessment? No, it does not. I can use two more bombs to get out of here, though. Watch this. I'm going to right at the edge. One, two. Right. That did not work the way I thought it would. I'm not going to use a rope here. I won't. I'm going to use a rope. Okay, I've got to get this key back over here. Oh no. Am I alive right now? Wow. No, not so much. Not so much. Hey, Echo Fine. Hope you're having a great practice too. Thanks for 87 months, man. Much appreciation. Pretty good. One sec here. Do 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 do. All right, let's do uh, something uh, cool here. Um, 
That's going to conclude show number 2,455. I want to thank you all for a great stream today. Apologies for being a little bit shorter than our usual uh, fare at four hours. Just feeling a little bit beat today. So I'm going to call it on that right there. I'm going to host somebody uh, that I just followed pretty recently, a tiny box. They're a smaller streamer, Splunky player. Uh, every time I've seen them die while I'm playing, they handle their losses very well. So I appreciate their attitude very much. They're pushing for $7.99 right now. So I hope you enjoy their content. Thanks so much for another great show here on Twitch. We've got a fun set of streams coming up leading up to our finale on December 31st and through Christmas Eve and Christmas as well. Thanks for the great stream, great time, and wonderful company. Going to throw out the raid here. We'll head on over there in about 15 seconds. Hope you enjoy a tiny box's content and uh, do wish them well on their fare to $7.99. Have a great one, everybody. Look forward to doing it tomorrow around 1 p.m. Pacific. Feel free to join that raid. Just started it right now, and we'll head over in about uh, 30 seconds. Yes, they have a follower goal of 50. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys will crush that. So thanks for the great time and wonderful company once again. Um, I actually don't know what's on the schedule. Tomorrow. I think we have FTL 90, run number 94 coming up tomorrow. I'll have to look after the stream. All right, guys, catch you over there in just a minute. I'll be lurking uh, in their channel for a bit, too.